Good. Hands up, Jim. Hands up. Down. Good. Hands up. Hands up. Very good. Good. Hands up, Jim. Hands up. Down. Good. With Parkinson's, sometimes your body feels like it's closing in on you, collapsing on you. With the boxing, you can free up your muscles and you can get a lot of activity. If you don't keep moving, you're gonna have big, big problems. This class is actually based on several compelling studies that talk about Parkinson's disease and how boxing class classes and boxing instruction can actually help uh, and possibly slowing the progression of the disease. It's great to they have a bunch of guys that are affected by the same things. All the people here have Parkinson's. Parkinson's affects people in different ways. Everybody here understands and supports one another. We're like a brotherhood, and everybody's very, very helpful. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, five. Good, 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 very good. In my drop the knee, push it in. Very good. Turn. Here, turn. That's it. Get that turn. Bring it up. Bring it over. That's it. Drag it over. Good. Under. Two, three. Under. I got Parkinson's probably about 15 years ago, and I was good for about five, six years. But then I started to get a lot more shaking and trembling. It affected me mainly on the left side, and I used to be able to cover it up by folding my arms or putting my hands in the pocket. Once I get on the meds, that slowed things down, but then I heard about rock steady boxing. It really helps with multiple things. It helps with your coordination, physical exercise, and cognitive stuff. And I would challenge people half of the year half the age of the guys that work out here to do the workouts that we do. It's certainly not easy. You know, some guys who are, who are you know, a little older, you'd be amazed at what they can do. And the, or the class as a whole, there isn't one person in the bunch that, that doesn't do what they're supposed to or try as hard as they possibly can. I've been doing the boxing for three years. It's made a big, big difference. If I wasn't doing the boxing, I'd, I'd have a lot more trouble getting around and doing things. Good, 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 very good. All of our students have Parkinson's disease and they're all working hard to be able to utilize the program to kind of mitigate the symptoms of that disease as best as possible. You know, the tremors moved on even. They're in my foot now, and it's even gone into my speech. Wasn't a great athlete, but I know what it takes to work hard at sport and to gain the ability to move your body, to push you to certain limits, and I'm able to do that here. Whether it's just, you know, getting in extra miles walking or getting to a class like this where you can really be pushed and, and have someone that, that knows, maybe knows a little bit about what you're going through, but knows that the end result will be beneficial to you. You know, it's a struggle to get through the, to the day, you know, doing things. You know, you just got to learn to kind of go with the flow and don't beat yourself up. You just got to say, you got to it's, good. it's a way of fighting back and dealing with the disease and the progression of it. The idea here is to slow down the progression. Good, Jim. Jim, that's a great fight up with that fight. If you, if you give up, you're not going to make it. Life is too tough. When I leave this earth, it's going to be due to something else. It's not going to be Parkinson's. And I'm going to make sure that I can fight this thing and beat it, beat it enough to live as normal a life as I, as, as I can. Two, three, All right. All right. Good job, guys. Good job, fellas. Good job. Great work.